students let's see an example to calculate the first and follow functions for a given grammar so uh, this is also used to construct the ll1 ll parser okay ll1 parser predictive parser so in ll1 predictive parser if you want to construct the predictive parser ll1 the first thing is you need to calculate what is the first function and the follow function after that you need to construct the table stack implementation and parsing the string okay so in the previous video i explained how you are going to find out the first function and the follow function for the given grammar okay so let's see an example so this is a grammar they are given s tends to a a tends to a b or ad b tends to b produces b and c determines g so it's determines tends produce whatever it may be so s determines a a determines a b all this thing so this is a given grammar for this grammar we need to find the first and follow functions okay let's see the solution the given grammar is a left recursion so here whatever the grammar is there that it is a left recursion how can you say it is a left recursion is there because in place of a you are going to substitute a b okay so again in the b place you substitute b okay s contains all uh, no uh, terminals so that is clear so if you use this production s determines a d okay a d again in a you need to determine uh, ad so it is going to be like that the function is non recursively it is recursively uh, going on so the given grammar is having the left the left recursive problem so first remove the left recursion from the given grammar so after eliminating the left recursion this is the final grammar you are get s determines a a determines ab a dash again a dash determines d a dash or epsilon b determines b c determines g so this is a given grammar and this grammar is after eliminating the left recursion so a determines a b this production i name it as a dash again this a dash is determines d a dash or epsilon so i place epsilon the empty string so that it eliminates the recursion okay we got the new grammar so this is a new grammar on this grammar we need to construct the ll parser so the first thing is you have to calculate the first function so just apply the rules what is the first function let's take the first one this side productions non terminals first of s so what is the first of s the first of s is a non terminal a okay so again go to a go to a so first of a first of s is equal to you don't know uh, no uh, terminal here yeah, there is no terminal here so again you need to calculate the first of a okay so the first of a is small a so first of s is equal to a now coming to this uh, non terminal this production first of a what is the first of a directly a is there here the terminal is there first terminal you need to take if it there is no terminal in the first uh, stay just take the production again first of that production okay so directly write a now coming to a dash first of a dash is there is a terminal d so directly write d and one more terminal is there epsilon there are two productions so a dash is it determines d as well as a, a dash determines epsilon so two production now first of b calculate so first of b directly terminal is there so write b and first of c terminal is there right g so this is how you are going to calculate the first function just simply take the first terminal that is present suppose if the terminal is not there again take the first of that production so a is there so that's why here first of s i taken as a okay i calculate the first now let's calculate the follow so next follow of s follow of s so s follows is so whenever the s is a starting symbol okay so s is following with only the dollar okay so that's why follow of s is dollar now coming to follow of a okay so next is follow of a 
so whenever you are saying follow of a follow of a dash you need to check the right hand side symbols not the left hand side symbols in the follow section the follow should be check on the right hand side symbols so follow of a so here a is present in this so follow of a there is no element whenever there is no element according to our rule you have to shift to the left hand side so then follow of s so what is the follow of s dollar see here follow of a is equal to follow of s is equal to dollar now coming to a dash so a dash so where a dash is present here you have to check the right hand side okay the first production here a dash is appear here so here a dash is there after a dash there is no symbol no terminal is there and no non terminal is there so what it has to do it has to shift to the left hand side so a dash is equal to follow of a dash is equal to follow of a so what is a follow of a follow of a is a follow of s follow of s is a dollar see here follow of a dash is equal to follow of a okay so which is follow of a is already calculated that is a dollar now coming to b so follow of b so here b is there we have to check the right hand side so b follows a dash so here the problem is rises so the b following a dash so a dash is a non terminal so again you need to calculate the production you have to check the production of a dash so whenever you are checking the production of a dash you have to be consider whether it is belongs to epsilon or not if suppose it is doesn't belongs to epsilon uh, no problem directly uh, you can take first of b first of a dash is first of b is equal to first of a like that a dash but whenever it belongs to epsilon so here follow of b is a dash a dash belongs to epsilon so what you have to do first first of a dash you need to take the first of a dash minus epsilon union again follow of a so after a dash what is there nothing is there so again you need to go to left hand side follow of a so this is only when the case a epsilon is present on that production so we are calculating the b okay the follow of b so here in the right hand side b is present here the b follow is a dash okay but a dash contains the epsilon so according to our rule follow of b is equal to first of a dash minus epsilon union follow of a so because it is present here the a dash is present in this production so union follow of a so first of a dash is d follow of a is dollar so d comma dollar and coming to c so in the right hand side there are no c elements c terminals are not present in the right hand side so not accepted i think this is clear uh what is the first function and the follow function okay so i have written again like this the productions whatever the productions they are given further productions the first and the follow for s determine say the first uh first of s is a and follow of s is dollar first of a is a and follow of a is dollar first of a dash is d comma epsilon so because these are two first of a dash is d comma epsilon and the follow is dollar and first of b is small b and the follow is d comma dollar first of c is g and follow is not accepted okay so uh, after constructing this what you have to do according to step so after finding out the follow and fun follow functions uh, first and follow functions in ll1 parser the second stage is you need to construct the parse table okay the step 2 is construct parse table using first and follow functions so this is the first and follow functions here by seeing this you need to construct the parse table how i am going to construct the parse table the first thing is you have to divide the table as rows and columns so the columns are the terminals the columns are terminal symbols and rows are the non terminals non terminals that is the productions what are the productions that you are consisting of okay the productions consisting of so these are all the productions you have to written here 
and whatever the terminals that are present that you have to be written here a b d g dollar okay so the first s determines a so what is the let, let me write the productions first s determine a a determines a b a dash a dash determines b a dash epsilon b determines b and c determines g okay so s first of s is first of s is a so first of s is a means in that production in that row and column the particular row and column the first of s is a so first of s is a means in that uh, box you need to write the production so by what production these will be implemented the first of s is a by what production s determines a so that you need to write here okay so next first of a is see the table first of a is a so again under a you need to write this production a determines a b a dash okay a determines a b a dash next coming to a dash first of a dash what is the first of a dash d and epsilon so in the place of d you write one production and in the case of epsilon you write another production because two productions are there so a dash so first in first of a dash is d so that function is a dash determines d a dash and first of a dash is epsilon also so so here there is no epsilon in this table if first of a dash means d so in that place we have written that production but a dash is equal first of a dash is epsilon also but here epsilon is not there what we have to do we have to check the follow okay we have to check the follow so first of epsilon is the follow of epsilon is dollar so in place of dollar you need to write a dash a determines epsilon okay and next b first of b is b so in the place of b you write the b production b determines c and first of c is g so in place of g you write the this production c determines g so this is how you are going to construct the parse table just take the productions okay first of s first of a first of a dash so these are all those terminals the first terminals that are present for these productions in those places you need to write their productions okay this is the construction of parse tree now stack implementation the third step is you need to implement the stack by using the parsing table okay so by seeing the parsing table you need to construct it so the stack first stack contains the starting symbol s dollar let me take the input string as input string is equal to a b d dollar let's take the input string is a b d dollar okay so the first production s a you take the first element s a s a what is the production s is substituted with a s data s is substituted with a okay so the production s determines a so in place of s just place a a b d dollar so next you have to check this and this okay a and a a and a what is this production a and a a determines a b a dash so in place of a you have to write a b a dash so just in place of a you need to write a b a dash dollar and same as with so here the top of the stack and the input both if both are the same terminals then just strike off that pop those two elements so pop a so after popping that you will get b a dash b d dollar now again check b b so in place of b column uh, row okay and b terminal column the production is b determines b dash so in play in place of no, only b b determines b so in place of b you have to write b small b a dash bd so here 
the top of the stack is uh, terminal B and the input is terminal B. So just pop these two Bs. Now the string contains, stack contains A dash dollar D dollar. Now check A dash D in the table. So A dash D. So A dash determines D A. A dash D. A dash determines D A. That is A dash determines D A. So in place of A dash write D A dash and D. So here top of the stack contains D and the input is D. So just pop it off. Top of the stack is removed. Pop D. Now A dash dollar dollar. Now check A dash and dollar. A dash dollar. So what is A dash and dollar here? A dash is there here dollar is there. A dash dollar belongs to A determines epsilon. So, epsilon is nothing but an empty string. So, just write dollar. Don't write epsilon because it is a nothing, epsilon, uh, empty string. So, dollar dollar means accept. The input is properly parsed. So, this is how you are going to construct, implement the stack by seeing the parse table. Just take the starting symbol stack uh, and the input that you need to parse. Okay. And this is a parse tree that you are going to be generated by seeing this. Here generate the parse tree using the stack implementation following top down approach. So here the predictive parser LL1 is a top down processor. So you have by seeing the stack implementation you need to parse the tree from top to bottom. The top element is S. So like this you need to traverse. S. S determines A. Again, A determines A, B, A dash. Again, B determines B. Again, this A determines D, A dash. And finally, A determines epsilon. So, the final string that you get is A, B, D, epsilon. Okay. So, this is how you are going to uh, create a constructive predictive parser LL1. So, in the next video, I will just take another example so that you will be uh, clear about what is an LL1 parser. Thank you.